Hello everybody. It's Mix Rex the Bro again. Coming back with you with an, uh coming back to you with another grounded episode. Uh today we're gonna go ahead and try to kill the spider or the wolf spider so that we can get a better bow. Um and we're gonna go ahead and do some of the quests that Blurger has provided to us. I had done a, another quest earlier today, uh, and I had a few, uh, a little incident here where I was trying to go through the process of defeating the wolf, sp the wolf spider, and the wolf spider defeated me, and <laughs> and now my stuff will like glitch on the ground, as you can see there. I can't get to so. it. So. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and teach you some of the basics for trying to defeat the wolf spider at this level or at this point because wolf spider sucks and it is really powerful especially when it's poison to specifically uh, just kind of wear you down with poison and kill you that way or defeat you that way so what we're going to do is basically I'm going to show you a couple things here first of all I upgraded this bow. Uh, now we're only gonna go up to level five with this bow, and that's as high as we are gonna go with this bow. You need to bring at least three stacks of twenty bows. I ain't got like a nineteen. It's gonna be all right. Uh, but uh, you want is plenty, uh, plenty arrows for the situation at hand because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be forcing the spider to be in a situation where it's attracted to us still or aggro to us still but we're gonna be using the bow to shoot it or attack it and continuously wear it down uh, the uh, well we are also bring in some bandages uh, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of show you exactly how we're gonna go ahead and get the spider caught in the situation at hand here. So let's go ahead and go. All right. So in this part of the tree, uh, specifically right here, this tree, uh, this part of the tree, this area, when we aggro the spider and we get its attention. It's going to run down and it's going to try to chase us down here. And when it chases us down here, the first thing that you want to do as soon as it gets to that point where it's going down this or area and right about where my crosshair is, right about where you see the spider coming at this point, that's when you run around here and you jump to this point and then you get to this point. The spider will run down here and then the spider's going to try to get you from this angle, try to jump to you from this angle. And then from this point, we're just going to go ahead and continue to attack with the with the arrows until the the spider is down. And this is to prevent it from de-aggroing because uh, we want to continue to keep hitting it. Do not move after you caught it in that situation here. Because what happens is the spider actually can, or at some point, it's possible that it can go into your reach and attack you. <laughs> or it will go back and de-aggro and will go up the road again. Um, so we don't want all of your effort to go to waste. Like <laughs> my previous situation where I tried to do this. So we're going to go ahead and do this again. Okay, one of them caught. There she is. Alright, now I got her on this point, and then she's right here. Oh, I guess she de -aggroed. Oh no, okay, hold on. Thought I had her on this point. Here she comes again. Alright, she's... Alright, she's caught at this point. This is where the where you want to stop, right here. So, cut her right here, and we're just gonna go ahead and continue to shoot her. It's okay. She's just gonna stay here, and she's just gonna take it for the situation in hand. We're just gonna go ahead and be patient and waste all of our arrows. 
Just let your stamina come back. This is gonna be a patient process. Make sure you also like don't shoot in the same area several times because then the arrows start blocking your damage. Just come back for all of my stamina. I usually just hit the abdomen if I if it still has arrows in the face. I'm just gonna slowly wear it down. If you guys have a different way of attacking the spider and like killing it or a wolf spider, and, um, you know, just let me know in the comments below. Cause, uh, it's quite interesting what uh, like uh, I found. I don't know if somebody's already found this. Uh, probably found it on like a tutorial. There's probably a tutorial about this already. But basically, what we're doing is we're just getting the spider caught in a situation where the hitbox is at reach for you or it's at the ground level oh, but it can't reach you great we got another one caught here I don't know why that spider was particularly there but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all of my arrows right now you can just run over them and you should be able to pick them up for the most part if they don't get glitched like these two here anyways let's see all right let's go ahead and just bandage up I'm wondering if we have enough we have 53 so we should be able to kill the other wolf spider we want to go ahead and do that right now Wolf spiders, as previously mentioned, are faster than you, so we want to get them caught on the situation at hand immediately. We don't want them to run away. See, now I caught her on the spot, so she's not gonna move. I'm gonna go ahead and kill all of them from here. There's other situations or other tree stumps where you can get her caught, but um, I'll have to test it out. I tried to do it earlier actually uh, during the situation where I got caught for the like the glitch actually I uh, was on this tree stump and um, there was two of them so they were both on both sides I just didn't have enough arrows to take all uh, either one down don't get greedy it's my it's my suggestion to you or don't get like don't think you can try to finish her off by using the mace wolf spider when you haven't gotten the poison mutation gene yet is n n you are no match against it when it comes to like like just 1v1s it's like the poison will wear you down and wolf spider is repeatedly attacking you so she just increases her chances of poisoning you every time she's doing this so this is basically just gonna go ahead and take my time on defeating her and not let her have the advantage on me one more should do it oh no I'm there we go done and that's how you defeat a wolf spider we are getting the reason why we are defeating it it's because we need the next level air bow so we are gonna get that now I right, just came to the analyzer I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what we got we got a venom arrow and spider fang if you analyze the poison we got leveled up, so we got our mosquito needle DIYs and our B uh, uh, DIYs we had already had to from the uh, uh, grave keeper or the grave robber quest. 
the fangs and allies a lot. We get the insect bow and the ins and the spider fang dagger, as well as the wall mount for a spider. And I think that should be it for right now. I also analyzed the ba the uh, berry leather, which I had to go get some more. Uh, when we get to the quest that we are need to do at hand, I'll show you where we can get it. Let's see. Find the fishbowl burgle chip. Uh, okay, so we have two burgle chips to hunt down. I really, what I wanted to do right now is I want to skip these two particular chips and I want to go to the water uh, the, the underwater burgle chip for the haze uh, quest. The haze quest is the one that gives you the oven and you need the oven first thing rather than the last thing because the oven builds use uh, the mushroom bricks so you have a more fortified base and like just having that end game is kind of like why like you could have been this whole time bur burning down some mushrooms for bricks and make a better base right now I again I'm just doing the basic base and once I get it once I get to the point of where I can go ahead and make a, uh, the mushroom bricks, we're going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> so, let me see. We're going to go ahead and craft it. So, with that, that done, we can go ahead and put the, the this bow to rest. And our new bow will now be this one. This bow is a lot stronger. And we're gonna go ahead and try to level it up right off the bat here. here. So now that we got our bow, uh, let's see. Oh, I wanted to show you guys just a quick uh, recipe. The boost juice is one of the best when it comes to you having a mace. Uh, the boost juice is going to go ahead and kind of give you more stamina or it's going to help you build, uh, get your stamina maxed out and heal you during the process of a fight. So, you're fighting something tough like a caterpillar or something, or caterpillar, <laughs> again the caterpillar, ladybug, you're fighting a ladybug, or you're or fighting a bard beetle, I'm sorry. <laughs> you will go ahead and uh, need this particularly, uh, let's see what else we've got, let's see. Liquid Rage is you are gonna need this for a situation where you are fighting bosses. So for right now, we're gonna go ahead and do a boost juice and just have this for an event of an emergency. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue with our process of trying to move on. So, I know that the Haze quest is not available right now, or you don't see that right now, but it's we are going to do it because we have to. Uh, we need the, those items right off the bat rather than later. So, let's go ahead and see here the reason why we need the globs is because we are getting to the point where we're gonna get another update and you want to go ahead and max out your weapons from the beginning you want to have max weapons from the beginning because the struggle here with the game is that the insects are tough and no matter what weapon you have you are struggling the entire process of trying to come to counter especially if you're doing a solo quest like a solo process like me right now you have to be the strongest like the strongest you can be in order to fight these these uh, insects in general so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you what we need first before I go ahead and dig into this so our for our next outfit that we need to build is going to be the guild tube the uh, 
Let me see here. We're going to go ahead and the fin flops. And eventually when we uh we're going to go ahead and move on from the gill tube into the bubble helm. Excuse me, the bubble helmet. Now, sunken bones are at the very bottom, so we need the gill tube first. From experience, gill tube is going to be a way to go <laughs> to try to uh, continue the any kind of water water situation. We need both of these outfits for the next build, for the next thing that we're going to be doing because what we're going to be doing is after the after we got our water outfit, we're going to go ahead and go directly where I was going to show you the 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 stop the haze uh quest is going to be. Now Yes, I know that the quest is not being shown to you and it's uh, you're not going to get it far later. But again, like I mentioned, you need to be strong now rather than later. So let's go ahead and get started. We need the wax underneath these uh, lily pads. So we should be able to get this. And the reason why we are making this is because we need the... Um, we need to have, uh, we need to be able to breathe in on the water. We only have like 30 seconds right now, technically. Uh, I think we also need a regular dagger, I believe, just like a, just a basic dagger and a shovel. Let me see if I could just make one right off the bat here. So how are you doing guys? How you guys been today? I know I I know I had some struggles today for sure, but I'm wondering how you guys are. Let me know in the comments below. At hand. Uh, um, a brief update here on after like I'm gonna on the grounded episodes. Uh, like we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna continue to do the grounded episodes. Uh for you guys until well actually we're, we're just gonna go ahead and just be like posting every I'll be posting them every day uh, for a be, uh, during the week uh, on Thursday and Friday we usually put some, like post something else uh, like the the fun time Fridays are just some try a different game like a uh, uh, right, like the suggestion for this month is shooting game, so I'm gonna try Apex. Uh, I'm gonna uh, get practicing on Apex and see if we can go ahead and bring an episode where we win rather than lose. <laughs> and uh, cause I, I, I've been getting a little bit of practice. I've been getting good at that. Uh, the uh, the next step is uh, like trying to bring another one of my shooting games in the game uh, there is a survival game I have called Resident Evil so I might bring that in uh, you let me know if that's something that we can go that you, you would like on the channel uh, and subscribe because uh, uh, some of these I'm trying to uh, trying to provide contact to everybody um, for the most part, this is more of a PG to PG-13 game. Minecraft is like a PG game. Uh, my son loves Minecraft, so I wanted to provide content for him to watch. Uh, and the uh, the Apex or the shooting games that I have, those are like rated like just over 18 to uh so if you subscribe you should be able to and like you're obviously over 18 you should be able to see that that video no problem all right what else am i gonna get here all right so i got the lg let me see if i can uh grab that dagger now Got it. Uh, why do we need this dagger? Well, the dag the dagger is going to be something that we use on the water. It's a weapon that we use on the water. 
it's on the it's a category of uh that's not very good weapon, but I mean you can use it on the water, so it's beneficial in that way. Like you can also use the spear, but uh, uh, so like the spear is good for attacking as I remember when I was using the spear with my my friend it was more about I guess because I was support I was able to use it better that way we need to attack this insect because this is the insect with the with the parts that we need so water boatman has the fin eel grass we need. strand and the silk rope okay so we need to go ahead and get some eel grass strand Eel grass strand, I'm assuming, is this. Oh, did we go too deep? Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh. This is why we need the I kill remember <laughs> on one of my streams I showed you guys that there was a molar over here. So to avoid contact with the spider. I almost feel like I want to take it on because it's not gonna will go away. So let's go. By the way, make sure you're well fed when you're fighting a spider or any kind of insect. You don't want to judge stamina to drop. By the way, you guys, I've been fighting things with the mace and I already got the, uh, the barbarian mutation, so... Keep saving your molars, because we need them so that we can use the second mutation, Barbarian. And you will be swapping between the Archer mutation and the Barbarian and the Mace mutation, so that that way you can be more effective in fights. Alright, let's go ahead and try to craft our Guild Tube. I think I'm next flop. to an analyzer, but that analyzer is just more dangerous overall. There's always the insects around it, so I'm not just All right. avoiding it in general. We analyze what we can analyze. I'm not gonna bother too much. Actually, there's another analyzer around here that I already discovered. I'm gonna show it to you guys because we can do it now. Look, there's a molar. Yay! Uh, where? Oh, that's why we haven't gotten it. Okay. No biggie. Remember our strategy. Let's see if we can get it stuck in another area. Hmm. We a little off of.
I'm just triggering the aggro and I'm just bringing her back. Ooh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to recover. Ah, of course I did. Of course I died. Oh, you were so close again. All right, it's all right. Man, I, the strategy was working. I just, I got, I got hit. <laughs> Dude, he hit so many times. I can't even. Like, there's not a recovery after that. You got poisoned, you died. Oh, man, I barely survived that. So let's go ahead and move on to what I was going to show you guys. I'm going to show you the analyzer. Here's the, analyzer. Here. Here's the tape, so I'll let you listen to it. Dominant practical technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, science division, log 87.12.18, uh, <laughs> uh, 87.12.19. It's past midnight now, but the covalent space reducer prototype is complete. Otherwise known as the shrinking machine, I've dubbed it the spacer. I should get some rest, but the kids are already asleep. Trudy's given up and gone to bed, and I'm eager to find out if all these months of work were worth it. Everything should be sound, but you never know until you flip the switch. Well, here goes nothing. Guys, that was one of the vlog takes for the doctor that is currently working on the shrink ray. Still haven't encountered him. I haven't seen any uh, 
any information um, other than his like experiments and his work. So, all right, that was the analyzer. So that's all I wanted to show you right now. Let me go ahead and craft the. I already got the the supplies. All you need to do is obviously go to your inventory and craft it. You just need a DIY table. But with that being said. We're gonna go ahead and on the next episode, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get prepared for the situation at hand. So, uh, I'll just start out with the video trying to go ahead and get ready to, uh, get, uh, like, our, my weapons leveled up for as much as they can be. My bow, my, my mace, to the highest level they can be. We're going to go ahead and make this suit and we're going to go directly to the area that I was talking about. So we will be prepared for the situation at him because we need to go there um, ASAP. So thank you for watching with me. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm not sure if you have already mentioned that. But let's have a good night uh, wherever you are. I know eventually it's going to turn into nighttime. So have a good night.